Hey, I'm Stephanie, and it's time to stumble into style. Welcome to Signature Style Sunday, my weekly web series in which I document my attempt to distill personality into style using mainly what I already own. I'm generally doing this project just for myself as an exercise in gratitude, to figure out how to best use what I own, and also to focus on more sustainable consumption. However, I do hope that if anyone else happens to come across these videos that I'll be able to inspire them with some positive energy. So if that sort of thing sounds interesting, and if you like makeup, style, and like lifestyle and like this video, then I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It is really cold in Munich today, so I'm wearing a warm sweater, I have a cup of hot tea, and apparently it's so cold it's driving people crazy because there's a bunch of people that are literally outside howling like wolves. And I would apologize, but I have no control over them, so <laughs> I, I, I'll just have to deal with it and I hope that you can't hear them. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different, but it's definitely still style adjacent. As I'm sure many people have, I've been reading and watching a lot of news lately. And um, as I see all the horrible things happening, my everyday life seems pretty trivial, especially when it seems like the world is breaking. The reality is my own personal sphere of influence is pretty small. So today I want to focus on the things that I can control. And I'm going to focus on mending things because I cannot fix the world, but I can fix these socks and I can fix this belt. So I thought as I sit here and sew and mend, we could hang out and talk. These socks have been my warm and fuzzy winter companions for several years now, but the elastic at the top has worn out. I had some extra elastic and sewing stuff in my craft box, and even though I have no idea what I'm doing, I thought I'd try to make these socks wearable again. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you already know that I'm on a low by year, and I'll leave a link to that video in the show notes in case you'd like to learn more about it. But in summary, it basically means that I am not purchasing any clothing or accessories this year unless absolutely necessary, and that includes socks. To be honest, this pair would be completely functional if they didn't keep falling off. So I'm just going to weave the new elastic in right below the old elastic and try to fix them. It feels a little old-fashioned to be sitting here darning socks. But is it old-fashioned or is it forward-thinking? When I imagine a beautiful future, one aspect that I envision is large swaths of lush green forest. Anyone who's up on their science knows that climate change is a thing, and one way to reduce the impacts is to have large forests. Not only do they act as carbon sinks and help prevent disasters like mudslides, but they are simply beautiful to walk through. I love hearing the wind move through the branches of each tree, listening to amazingly intricate birdsong, watching bees flit from flower to flower catching the smell of pine on the breeze, and watching sunbeams pierce the canopy to light up soft patches of moss. But land is in demand. Clothing from natural fibers needs land to grow cotton or bamboo or hemp or whatever. So if I want to make my vision become future reality, I need to think about what's more important to me. A new pair of socks or a wild place where I can get lost for a while. I choose the woods. That's how I'd like my world to look. So I'm mending my socks. And to be honest, it's also fun to sit here and feel like I'm fixing something, no matter how small. Maybe it is old-fashioned, but it also gives me something to look forward to. Next up is this belt. To make it wearable, I'm going to use some leather conditioner, some elbow grease, and possibly a pen. I bought this belt a couple of years ago, and I haven't worn it yet but not because I forgot about it or because it didn't fit. It's because every time I go to wear it, I cannot get the button to close. I'm almost always in a hurry and the leather is so hard that I can barely bend it into position. And once I get it there, I can never manage to snap the button through. So I'm breaking it in. That way, next time I go to wear it, I won't have to wrestle with it to get it on. Every single time I tried to wear this belt and failed, I told myself I would break it in so I could wear it easily. And I've been telling myself that for two years now. And it's only today that I'm making the time to do it. 
In fact, I have a box of things that aren't broken but still need fixing. Sometimes those things don't get fixed simply because I don't make the time, like this belt. But other things don't get fixed because I haven't figured out how to do it yet. And even though Google is just a couple of clicks away, sometimes that tiny hurdle is enough to stop me. So the contents of my box of broken things keeps growing. Am I the only one who does this? <laughs> Am I the only one with like a box or a drawer of broken things? There are so many important things to be fixed, so many more important tasks to take care of that these little things just keep getting pushed aside, at least for me. So I'm trying to make time to fix the little things. Maybe it's like a muscle. Maybe if I get used to regularly mending things, fixing bigger problems will get easier. Maybe I can work my way up until I can fix the world's problems. Or maybe my box of broken things will simply be empty at some point soon. Either way, that would be progress. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I had fun fixing a couple of little things and hanging out with you. I hope you have a wonderful week and that we can all remember that even stumbling can be a form of moving forward. So let's stumble in style and hopefully into peace. 